Okay, so this is a lady with uh, a Klatskin tumor. I think she's already had a stent put in, and it's for staging. I also don't know if they have a biopsy. We'll look at that in a sec. Vous allez sentir le tube dans la bouche. Respirez bien. Voilà. Continuez bien à respirer. Voilà. Okay, why is this not working? Voilà. Okay. Penche la tête vers l'avant un petit peu. Avez-le juste un petit coup? Ah, okay, merci. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to look at her liver first. Her intrapatic still look quite dilated. I don't know if they tried a stent and didn't work because I'm not seeing much air in her liver either. You know, with a Klatskin, I think the last thing you want to do is an ERCP. Uh, you really want to get the, an idea of the sta diagnosis staging uh, before you uh, do anything else, before you go infecting their liver, especially if it's a complex hyalur stricture. Now this is interesting because she's got, uh, I'm just finding the liver torquing, portal veins coming out there. And then there is something going on. There is a stent here, I believe, but it doesn't look like it's going high enough into the liver. And then she's got this gallbladder here with a stone right there. So I'm wondering if this could be a Maritzi syndrome more than a Klatskin, which would be great for her. And her gallbladder does look a little distended. I don't see any major mass component or anything like that. So to me, it looks more like it's just a Maritzi syndrome with a stent that's just not in the right place. So uh, if when you have a Klatskin, um, at least our surgeons don't want us to biopsy the primary tumor. They only want us to biopsy nodes if you see them because that will change the, uh, the management. And uh, if they're ever want to be a candidate for a liver transplant, uh, biopsying the primary tumor is a contraindication for transplantation. So I think this lady just has a, this has a, a Maritzi syndrome. It really looks just like that. So we're going to go in the bulb, get a, a different look at it. A little bit of oxygen here going in the wrong place. Okay, into the bulb. So you want to go into the bulb, find the portal vein right here in the hilum, right here. Once you're deep in the hilum, you torque right, and then you'll see there's the stent with the air in it. Okay, and then we're going to go up into the hilum. And all I see is this gallbladder with uh, stones. And where the stricture should be is uh, where the stent is going back here. There's a stone right there, uh, probably just compressing that bother. Now, I'm not saying it, it could be a gallbladder cancer. I think it's a Maritzi's. But the bottom line is, for me, there's, I can't see any place to do any biopsying here. I don't see any nodes. There's some really very small nodes, maybe right here, right in here, very, very small but uh, I don't think they're even worth the price of a needle. If there's like a really small node right here. So I think uh, probably they should try and just take care of this gallbladder and see what happens after that. Uh, here's a bigger node. So we'll have to buy after these nodes. So we'll buy after these nodes. Je prends l'église, s'il te plaît. Just, hello. Okay. So I have no choice. We'll have to buy after these nodes just to make sure that uh, on the offhand, there isn't something going on there. But these are very benign looking. You can see they're very heterogeneous, kind of oval. So again, I take, I prefer the 25 gauge, uh, no stylet. I, uh, no, and I, for these cases where it's a really low probability, I don't uh, call our cytologist because I just don't want to waste his time. So we'll just put this all into a cell block. So we'll use the multiple pass technique. Needle gets through the wall. So the needle's just through the wall. Now I'm in the node, back and forth, a little bit of suction. Then you want to come back, stay in between the lesion and the, uh, and the wall, then go somewhere else. So we call this a multiple pass technique, not a fanning technique, because we, we actually come out of the lesion and go back in. So I'm just trying to sample all through this node. Okay, go in, push in a little more. A different plane here, there we go. I'm not seeing the needle super well, but I, I know where it is. You should probably always make sure you see it a little better than this. Okay, pushing in. Okay. 
guy. There we go. So you see I'm going in and out of this node in different places, you know, probably eight times, maybe ten times. So I'm really sampling all through this node. And if this is negative, you know, the only thing that we could be missing is maybe micromets. But certainly this, if this was a, a, a diffusely metastatic lymph node, we should get the diagnosis right away. Okay, uh, sorry, one more thing. Uh, uh, just in shows. What's good about the multiple pass, too, is that if you have multiple nodes, you can do them all in this without taking the needle out of the scope. So she has another, another she has a little smaller node around here. I'm just looking. There might be a small node right there. I'm not sure. That's uh, a little bit. Uh, so we'll do that as well. So you can just do multiple lesions without taking the needle out of the scope. Because the, the, the studies show that this wall contamination issue is just not an issue, basically. Okay, so I'm doing this node as well. The only problem with spending this much time doing all this is that, especially with the 25 needle, uh, the sample tends to clot inside the needle. But that's not a problem. You can always push it out with the stylet if you need to. So that's it. Okay. So you see that when we do FNA, our, our nurse is actually not even near. We do it all by ourselves. And the nurse is only there just to take out the needle one, once we're finished. So I really get some Maritzis. I don't see anything else. Okay. So remember, uh, cholangiocarcinomas, you don't want to needle the primary lesion, only nodes. And in this case, uh, we really have this, this gallbladder with a stone. And it, with the Maritzis, you'll find the stone usually right where the stricture is. Uh, and that's, um, that's the kind of the clue. And in this case, the stent is kind of going just above the uh, stone. But I, I think there's a st uh, the stent is blocked or something because there's no air that I can see in the liver. And the, and the liver still looks, the, the bile ducts still look distended. You have the railroad tracks with bile ducts next to veins in the periphery of the liver. So I think this, there's a stent dysfunction there. See, tell me the name of that. That's it.